Malaysia is ramping up efforts to crack down on undocumented migrants. This is the government deliberates an action plan to curb the illegal hiring of foreign workers. In the first week of January alone, some 200 immigration raids were carried out in the capital, Kuala Lumpur. Hundreds, including their employers, were detained. CNA's Melissa Go with this report. The iconic Petronas Twin Towers was one of the 14 hotspots in Kuala Lumpur targeted by enforcement authorities to nab undocumented migrants. I tagged along in one of the immigration department's operations. It was a weekend and there were big crowds despite the drizzle. Officers were in plain clothes. Within two hours, over a hundred foreigners were inspected. 31 were detained for various offences from overstaying, lack of travel documents to misuse of social visit passes. Aged between 19 and 50, they were nationals from Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, Nepal, Indonesia and the Philippines. Now, meanwhile, more spot checks and raids have been conducted by immigration enforcement officers to weed out foreigners without proper documentations. Now, those caught moonlighting in the tourist hotspots like the KL Twin Towers are also napped. These Afghans and Syrian were picked up after they were caught selling flowers and balloons. Under the immigration law, they could be fined and jailed up to six months for misusing social visit passes. While migrant workers detained could face a heftier fine, plus caning, depending on the offences committed. And those deported would be blacklisted. Darjah, iaitu pengakuasaan undang-undang hal ewan imigresen akan dijalankan kepada semua pihak. Tidak kira pendatang asing, majikan ataupun mana-mana pihak yang melindungi parti. Employers caught hiring undocumented migrants can be fined up to 10,000 US dollars for each migrant and jailed up to five years plus caning. And those found harboring them are punished equally. Premise owners too can be held responsible. But migrant rights activists question the effectiveness of enforcement. Many of these workers came into the country regularly through legal channels and we need to look at why they fell out of the legal fold, why they became irregular. And that will take us back to the root cause. No long-term migrant worker management, limited rule of law, corruption and impunity. These are the issues that we need to address. Officially, Malaysia has two million foreign workers. But activists say the actual number easily doubles that. The crackdown amid a rise in COVID-19 cases has also raised concerns among healthcare experts, as immigration depot were hotbeds for infections at the height of the pandemic. But Home Minister Saifuddin Nasution is firm. The operations must continue, he says, to deter a further influx. Kita adalah sebuah negara berdaulat dan kita ada undang-undang. Datang dengan comply dengan semua kepatuhan undang-undang. Dokumen perjalanan yang sah, pas yang sah, visa yang sah. But for now, employers have been given a grace period till the end of March to legalize their foreign workers. The government is also looking at freezing all new hiring until the system is better regulated. The message is clear. There will be zero tolerance towards anyone harboring undocumented foreign workers. And come April, employers continue to do so will face the full force of the law. Melissa Go, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.